Okay. Reactions. Yes. All right. So what are, what are we watching, y'all? Because apparently listeners said that they like it when they can have parasocial relationships with us. <laughs> oh, we love you too. But by, by, like, it's as if we're in the same room watching it together. So, you know, mm-hmm. you just need to hit play at the same time. And then we're all having this like virtual shared experience together. Yay. Love that. Yeah. Which is Watch what party. reactions are for, I guess. All right, so what, what are we watching, y'all? We're watching, Kelly, this is your Jay, This you. is J- NCT Jaehyun's pre-release track, Dandelion and Roses. Okay, all right, so that's the song, and we're all going to react to it together. In three, two, one, go. Three, two. <laughs> okay, his counting is confusing me. When the heart values love and So artsy. Hard to see when the sun is in my Oh. Ooh. See, that's not him, though. I know. Because the jawline. So many other actors in this. Ooh. I like him, too. Yeah, the long hair. Whoever has long hair. <laughs> Ooh. Is that a black child? Yeah, playing oh a fish. Cute. Oh. Little black kid with cornrows playing the <laughs> That person is not holding the German belt correctly in the Oh, wow. <laughs> well, he's just, See, this is why we have Peter. <laughs> he's just in a bloody pile with kids. I wouldn't catch that. Ah, oh, the glasses. Oh, Professor Jaehyun. And didn't play the saxophone. Teach me. Can he play any of these instruments in real life? Probably not. Be but my he... teacher. I love it. Oh, with the vest. Yeah, I like the outfits. I like that look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, this is this is the Jaehyun that we know loves musical theater and. Oh yeah. Is that a home or a museum? In the sky. Oh, you can see his like? muscles underwater Ooh, with the wet t-shirt. Oh, that chord progression. <laughs> right. What is that? What song is that? <laughs> Yeah, we've heard that before. Oh, yeah. It says this dream in the, the top left corner. This slightly reminds me audio wise of um Wow thing. <laughs> well <laughs> because of the chord yeah. progression. I'll I'll think of it. Okay, this we're supposed to feel the universe with all Cypher. those images. Cypher's debut. Mm. That's what the chord progression reminds me of. Even the things you love hurt you. <laughs> Isn't that what it said under You're right. Yeah, Michaela, I just like watched the first few seconds of the video and then I left, but you said that there was more at the end. Because we started with Dandelion. Ooh, hello. And this is Roses. Oh, this is Dark Concept now. Dark Concept, J.N. See, all the lights are off. He's in this Ooh, the house lighting museum on his by cheekbones. himself. Come on now. I'll call you. This is what I need from him. Just nonstop. Midnight R&B. Him and water is just amazing. Like he, he... Roses. Oh. oh, background vocals. And I love how it just like, it, it authentically sounds like just voices in a room, not just like a super processed vocal of a choir. Yeah. But I think the movement from all the dancers adds a lot to it, too. Mm-hmm. It's as if the dancers were singing those words. This is straight 90s, straight out of the 90s. So slow in the pocket. He's in the water again. I know, right? Who keeps pushing him? <laughs> well, he fell in that last time. Yeah. By, by himself, but yeah. Okay. First That's a album. very provocative music video. I feel like there's a lot of metaphors, symbolism there. Right. Uh, I, I like the... Um, I don't even know what words to describe it. The bright, summery, outdoor... Contemporary art museum vibes. 
<laughs> I was kidding in the is. first part of, of, of the video. And then I, I thought the, the scene of everyone swimming in the water together was just right. very was visually cool. striking. That was very memorable. Yeah. And it must have taken uh, a lot of time and effort to film that, to get everybody in the right position. <laughs> And I love the the play with color versus because they had similar like that scene. Water is in both versions of the dandelion and rose, but in the dandelion one, they're swimming in like a red light versus rose. It's like this blue. And yeah, I just thought that was. Cool. What does it mean? I don't know. We'll find okay. out when the album drops <laughs> later this month. Hey. Eh? Okay. All right. Shall we move on to the next one? Y'all? Moving on. Is it? Oh, we're not doing daybuck or not. Oh, do we should, should we do that? I don't, okay, I don't yeah, care. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, I'm Daybuck. I'm Daybuck on and Dandelion. Daybuck. My bias record. Yeah, is Daybuck. My bias record. Like, he's, the second he's... second half saved it for me. I know. That's, I, that's why I was like Stephanie. I know. Don't you were like, the... don't give up on it. Don't I was give up. Gonna read it or not? If I only <laughs> there's saw a Dandelion, reason why we love him. Honest. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like. Yeah, I love him too. Uh, dude, don't don't hate on Dandelion. That's a good song. I, you know, I love I love both versions. Of of yeah. Tia. All right, next up, mm-hmm. we've got right. Pudomis Nine with Supersonic. Supersonic in three, two, one, go. So we've got Supernova, Nova, and Supersonic. Is there? Are they challenging this bud with this? Hmm. That orange hair. Dystopian junkyard vibes. I know it's so artificial, but I love the the colored hair and the the lenses mm-hmm. for the eyes. Mm-hmm. They're looking gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. They're keeping their look kind of consistent from the beginning. I like that. No, this is a little bit more grown up. I, I feel like. Yeah, that's true. I mean the colors. Ooh, somebody driving. This is fun. It, it's like a single chord that you hit once at the at the top of the bar. You're not doing a lot with it. It's a way to be soft but still impactful. We got that. Either go with the flow. Go with the flow. Love how the the Beyonce okay, fan hit you at that point. Okay, high notes. I love the smoky, whatever the makeup around the eyes. Mm-hmm. Some fun variety in footwork. Oh, sorry, it's fun variety in footwear. Mm-hmm. Got boots, platforms, sneakers. Wow, sparks, okay. <laughs> the footwear is literally on fire. Mm. That's a hot bodysuit. Right. <laughs> With the high cuts peeking out of the jeans. Mm-hmm. I see you, girl. This is definitely going for a K-pop summer. Summer, mm-hmm. yeah. Add it to the playlist for the hot summer party, Peter. It's a fun choreo, too. The, the water rockets are giving it like a water bomb performance vibe, especially since they're all so good now. Yes. And so many of them are in white, too. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it just ends on the... <laughs> just water shooting up. I was perplexed by the by the one drop landing on her forehead. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that was just trying to be cute. It's it's this is such a great comeback. I love that there was like a proper budget for it. I do feel like Promise Nine, even though they've had a strong few years, especially since they joined Hybe, but mm. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like Hybe has really been pushing them as much as their other new girl groups. 
Yeah. Like it's it's different because they're one of the you know, for the girl groups that joined after Hybe was kind of formed. And there's definitely more preferential treatment for the girls that debuted in Hybe. Well, yeah. That goes along with the yeah, the stepchild treatment that mm-hmm. so many of the adopted aqua hired groups receive in Hybe. Mm-hmm. And we sucks. We know that from from whatever allegedly happened in Source Music, that might be why her mm-hmm. G friend is no longer G friend together. Pour one out. Yeah. But From Us Nine is still around, doing it. Yeah, Daybok for me. Hmm? I, 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 this feel, does feel more grown up, sexy supermodel. Oh That's yeah, true. yeah, yeah. With, with the high V cuts. Oh my god. With who? The high V cut bodysuit showing yeah, all yeah, of yeah, her uh-huh. all of her hip bone. Yeah, high V cut. <laughs> yes. I, that caught my eye for sure. Right. Okay. Are all we right, next saying Daybok or not on this? Daybok. I said Daybok. We both oh, said Daybok oh. here. Are you, I'm, I'm are you, you You know what this is? This is like the high version of Kiss of Life sticky. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. They even yeah. tried doing a little bit of booty action. A little bit Just of Just a tiny hand. bit. It was yeah. mostly arm work. Yeah. Okay. Next song. We're doing uh, the other Hybe group in Hypen. With Brought the Heat Back. In three, two, one, go. I like this, like, FM radio version of the song. Ah, yeah. oh, this is Daybok already. Ooh, I can tell. This, this, is a good, this is a really good song. And it keeps that kind of creepy, haunted vibe yes. that they've been rolling with. Yeah. This is like okay. K-pop summer vampire edition. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, they can, they can stick around for Halloween, Halloween. Yeah, oh, they did better. Yeah. Real man must love cats. vibe here. Black and white driving. Oh, he, is he a cat? Oh, what's what, explosion? Hi, Nikki, why inside? is your head exploding? Uh, who got hit by a car? <laughs> Yo. I think it was some. <laughs> Yeah, see, he's just, he's oh, on the car. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love a little, like, absurd humor like that. Oh, very good oh. special effects, you know. Very realistic looking. Mm-hmm. Although, they're vampires. Would they be showing up with heat signatures? Mm. No, they wouldn't even Let's, appear. Oh, all. my God, Nikki. Ugh. Keeping it cool. <laughs> Good. Oh, nice. nice. Smooches. Are they just playing around with different ways to die or test dying? <laughs> cat <laughs> <noise>. real cat <laughs> sound. Okay, they're trying to keep somebody in the coffin, I think. <laughs> this is so funny. What? Why what is, is there a fish? fish? <laughs> Heat sicking fish. Who's in there? Nikki. Ah, my boy. Oh, here we Ooh, go. Okay. But then they kind of look like they have claws in their hands, too. So are they vampires? Cats? Or cats? I think so cats. Fluffy. So much happening. Love it. Oh, it's a little thriller, thriller callback. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, but work. I really appreciate it. And, and the cut sleeves as well. Yeah. I love it. Is it, are they trying to make it look like they're running really fast? Ow, like with the, the things going by <laughs> in the screen? <laughs> What is happening? I missed the first part of the story. Who <laughs> <laughs> brought the heat hmm. back? Okay. For, <laughs> that song is like day to the box. I, right? I love that song. It, it is, is like disco synth. Like it's got a groove. It, it feels like drunk dazed a little bit. Like you, it does. You, you can yeah. the evolution from that to this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I love the concepts. I love like, there's like, I don't know. The concept really enhanced it for me. Oh, absolutely. And, um, you know, at times when they're like miniatures, I was thinking like, uh, got seven, um, mm. 
what, just what right. is their song? Just right, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I don't know if that was an intentional motif, but like I, what I like about this and all the silliness of the production is that it feels like it's got that word, y'all. It's got the S or that phrase, the essence, essence of, of K pop. And it ding, really ding, ding, ding. comes through with this. Like, you know, the, the, it, it, it is its own fantasy reality um, in a way that's really fun, playful. It commits to the bit. Yeah. While not taking itself too seriously. Really funny. And it's a really good song, really good dancing. Um, they never let up on the tension. It's just like driving. Mm-hmm. We are going to do, uh, it hasn't been announced formally yet but we are having a halloween party oh snap <laughs> so i'm already like oh this is gonna be a bus play for that party like we're is that also halloween. in south bay i think i'm it's i think we're gonna do it at yellow i want to say in san francisco mm. oh, so, awesome. right. okay yeah which all is right, a big venue right. check yeah. it out if you're cool. in the bay area <laughs> as far as like the storyline my guess was that it's just kind of like the, so the, the cough, they're like playing keep away with the coffin. And so like they're killing each other in order to get the coffin from the other member. Are they cats with nine lives? Are Maybe that's like playing around with ways like, to die. It's hard. It feels like because you mentioned thriller, but I also feel like there's also a bunch of references to a bunch of like 80s and 90s horror slash mm. like noir slash hard boiled films from that era mm-hmm. so i feel like i feel like i would have to go back and kind of like find similar source material to figure out like all of the wow. references but yeah daybuck daybuck yeah hell it's really ra- raising the bar on the the lore and, yeah. <laughs> and symbolism and yeah. packing stuff in like, and, th- and the, this the is... song on the album too is like like what you mentioned peter like how it's kind of similar to uh drunk dazed i feel like that the, this song and like is a great representation of like that album being them really locking into the sounds of the things that they do best mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah they're they're lane mm-hmm. not yeah. everybody's doing this I don't, I don't know if i've got like straight male lens bias applied to this but i feel like it so many boy groups become commoditized really quickly for just being like wearing like dark leather pants and a white shirt and then dancing around to technically very difficult, fast moving choreography. Yep. And I, You're right. I you know, you, you can argue that they, they follow that same uh, costuming style and this, but it, I don't know. It just carries so differently in, in this just because it, it feels like, okay, I get the vibe. I get the theme. I get the bit. Um, I, I just love this. So this mm-hmm. is what we need more of in K-pop. Yes. Just, just like this, this goofy, fun reality. And, and again, really good execution and production value across. Even if the, a lot of the visual effects were like kind of cringe, but like I, I, I kind of <laughs> like it because of, yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't take itself too seriously. To make us laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Versus versus the pre-release film that we watched, Peter, where they were taking themselves so super seriously in their action hero mode when they were like mm. dodging bullets like sexily. <laughs> <laughs> and making sexual groans when they got hit. But, oh, I yeah. like that too. Let me check that out. Okay, well that's it for reactions. Tell us what we should react to on a future episode. You can join Comment us on the K-pop below what you want to see us react to. Oh yeah, and we need leave to cut a like. This up. If you liked this reaction, smash that like button. Yeah. (laughs) And subscribe. (laughs) (laughs) And this is where you have to be like, K-pop dad reacts to like K-pop for the very first time. Yeah. (laughs) Something hyperbolic and stupid. (sighs) Okay. Veteran K-pop fans react to fourth gen boy group. (laughs) There you go. That's it. That's the headline. Yeah, that's Thirsty lane. Nunes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put all of those in the title. <laughs> a very long title for all the SEO. <laughs> <laughs> like, including stuff that's like not even in the reaction. You know, like, yeah. you know, person of this demographic is <laughs> this video right. reacts like whatever. Okay. Uh, now for Daybuck or not sensational news, we'll, we'll say the thing and we can say whether Daybuck or not on that item. So, 